Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Physics 20, Lesson 2, Energy of Simple Harmonic Motion. Now, last class, I was harping on a lot about uh, simple harmonic motion and oscillations of backwards and forwards. We're talking about how the force of the spring is the net force or kx equals ma, technically minus kx. And we'd solve this for either k or x or mass or acceleration. Now, we just went through the homework and showed me you understand that. Now, the velocity, we were talking about energy total is energy potential plus energy kinetic. Now, here with a spring, one half kx squared is potential energy, and kinetic energy is good old one half mv squared. Gravitational potential energy is mgh. Dealing with springs, it's elastic potential energy. Now, excuse me. Here, we were talking about two parts. In the middle, where x equals 0, and at either end, where x is a max, and v is 0. So it's swing backwards and forwards. So we were either dealing with energy potential as a maximum, that is, E total is 1 half kx squared, or maximum velocity, where x is 0. So solving or rearranging this, kx squared is mv squared. Now, usually we want to solve for v here. So v squared is kx squared over m. I'm running out of space. Copy this. Come on, next page. Let's go. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you can. Stop thinking. Go to the next page. Next page, darling. Come on. All right, don't. Uh, computers. God help us all. What's going on here? Come on, you can do this. Just... Or not. What's? Okay, hang on. Well, then when I print it out, weird things happen, and I, what is going on here? All right, I guess I do have to extend page, such as life. No, when I print out an extended page, it gets weird. Anyway, so going back to this, I'm wondering why Bill Gates is screwing with my life again. The velocity is the square root of kx squared over m, or velocity is x square root k over m. Now, as I said, that's a formula. I've shown you where it comes from. Who cares? It's when we use it that's important. Now, some people prefer amplitude. I don't care. Now, I do not believe this is on your formula sheet. So if you want to take a moment to write this on, I'm fine with that. And note this is velocity of simple harmonic motion. Not velocity of going in a circle, not velocity of you running down the hallway. So make a note of that. While well, I try to figure out what the heck is going on here, why, why can I not have a second page? <sighs> yes, it's going to be one of those days. Beat with stick till magic smoke comes out. It is. Okay. So I said, I, I apologize. I teach this once a year, and I forget which formulas are there. I'm supposed to remember all this. I just can't. Okay, 
once again. Okay. Now, while I'm wondering why Bill Gates is out to get me, now, Mr. P uh, you besides uh, sell Microsquish to us before it works. All right. Now, don't do this. So, this maximum velocity is amplitude times square root of k over m. So you need to know the acceleration. So you need to know the amplitude, the spring constant, and the mass. All right. Now, other formula I got to derive for you. Period. Circular motion is two pi r over t. Here, what's the, in simple harmonic motion, what do we call the distance we're moving? Trevor. Uh, hang on. Never mind. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting old. Velocity. 2 pi r. Never mind. Uh, I, can I blame Bill Gates for that one? Yes. Uh, thank you. All right, sorry about that. Thank you. Glad one of us is awake. Now, for circular motion, that's velocity. What? I want to rewrite this for simple harmonic motion. So we got velocity. I'm okay with two. I'm okay with pi. I'm okay with t. But what about r? What do we call r? Our distance here. Sorry. A. So I call that 2 pi a for simple harmonic motion. Now, but then 2 pi a over t, you guys are having way too much fun copying out notes. Should I move you to the front? Right here, so better supervised. Grade 11s. Supposed to be the much more mature ones. Supposed to be. Yes. Anyway, what, what I want to point out here, velocity is velocity. So I've got two formulas for velocity here. 2 pi a over t equals a square root of k over m. Can I simplify this mess? Yep. Can I, I'm sorry? Yes, the amplitude or the distance it stretches cancels out. Now, I know k, I know m, I don't know t. So usually we rearrange this equation to solve for t. So those of you that like math know the cross multiply stuff. So this becomes 2 pi square root of k over m equals t. Now, we don't normally write it like that. Divide by a square root always makes the pure mathematicians go, <laughs> Now, what happens when you divide by a fraction? It's the same as? By the? Reciprocal. So this becomes square root of m over k. Now, yes, and this one's? since we divide it, it becomes m over k. Now, so the period of the spring depends on the mass and the spring constant. Now, this is the formula we need for the rest of the lesson. Ch check, is it on your formula sheet? Yes. OK, so now this is for simple harmonic motion. Notice here, no amplitude. It's required. We don't know, we don't care about the amplitude. All we care about is the mass and the spring constant. So it doesn't matter. And yes, when we do the lab, how far you pull it back, if you pull it back a little bit, it will have the same period as if you pull it back really far. And if you pull it too far, you break the spring, and then I yell at you. The standard. OK. So that's the formula we need. And it's all of a sudden working. So, simple question for you. 
What is VMAX of a 500 gram weight? On a spring, K equals 12.5 newtons per meter. Oh, sorry, when stretched, now, I like this one, because you take a spring, put a weight on it, stretch it, 25 centimeters and let go. What's going to happen? Yes, I missed my fingers this time, fortunately. That's why we have the stand to set this up over here. Anyway, so we're going to play with this. You guys actually get to do a lab on it. Yes. Woohoo! Now, so what's the formula we got here? Sorry? So what okay. Now, I apologize. You're saying B max is A square root of K over M. So plug in the numbers in, what are you getting? Like I can read it from this distance. 1.25. Now, how'd you get 1.25 meters a second? Now, I'm assuming you turned everything to SI units. 0.25 a meter and 0.5 a kilogram. Somebody said 1.25 meters a second? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, standard question. Any problems with that? Plug in numbers in. You guys know me. Show me you can do, have. You guys have shown me you can do that. So let's move on to the slightly easier, slightly more confusing. What is mass of a weight when it? So V max is V is 1.55 meters a second. So what's the mass? of a weight with a velocity of 1.55 meters a second. Don't want to know. Now, can you solve that for the mass? Now, that's a little harder because now you're solving for a square root. That's not level. Either. So, I said here, I love demonstrating this to somebody who gets a weight in the face. So then it's wouldn't this be uh, just a reverse operation? Yes. You're getting the same equation. V max equals A square root of K over M. Except now you've got to solve for M, which is a denominator in a square root. So we got to rearrange this equation to solve for M. Do we plug the numbers in first and solve, or do we rearrange the equations and and then solve. Plug the numbers in. So what's my new Vmax? My amplitude is? Yeah. So here's the painful part. You got to get, it's a square root divided by m. So how do you get rid of the square root sign? So what's the easy, uh, so? Going back to math 10, what's the easiest thing to do first? Yeah, I agree. Divide everything by 0.25. I said blue, you shazbat. I said red, you shazbat. Again. So what's 1.55 divided by 0 0.25? 6.2. Meter squared per second equals, hang on. So, uh, yes, ma'am, what do we do next? 34.2, 38.4. We square both sides. 
to get rid of the square root side. And that becomes? 38.4. Wait till the video camera's turned off, please. Less for me to explain. Less, much less paperwork. <laughs> Yes. Cross multiply. M is 12.5 over 38.44, which becomes 0.325 kilograms. Do you agree with what she said? Yes. Good man. Of course. Okay. Now, as I said, guys, got it? Two equations here. Velocity maximum, and, oh, come on, and period. Now I'm going to do a period one. Come on, forward. Sorry, can I go on? She got 0 0.325 kilograms, what she said. All right, now, so two questions, then we do a lab, and uh, I give you the homework. What is the period? of a 12 kilogram mass Spring Okay. So three hundred and twenty newtons per meter is a fairly stiff does not is a fairly stiff spring. But what is the period of a twelve kilogram mass pulled sixteen centimeters from equilibrium on a spring of K three hundred and twenty newtons per meter? Now Probably, but if you'd stop interrupting me with the answer before I ask the question, it would be helpful. Yes, Trevor, be nice. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> be nice. I'm yes, In you case. should, because people that tend to do well you know, tend to be the ones signing your paycheck, so yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving on. Now. One thing I want to point out here, guys, shh, I have not been drawing pictures to go with this because I've been getting lazy. I know. Heap abuse and terror on me later. It says solving a physics problem. The second rule is draw a picture. <laughs> okay. That is terrible. That's for the Roman gladiators. We are about to die salute you. That was a tr traditional salute the, the gladiators got before they were fed to the lions. Not Hitler. No. <laughs> Hitler didn't. Hitler, that, Hitler just did the straight out one. This is I'm going to die. Screw you. But anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're about to feed me to the lions, so this is as nice as I get. Yeah. Anyway. Now, for those of you not being fed to the lions, I have to draw a picture here. Now, quick question: Does it matter if the spring's going up and down or side to side? No, it doesn't. So, what's easier to draw: up and down or side to side? Side to side. Well, one person said up and down, one person. Let's do it. Show, up, and up and down. Up and down is the right one. I just told you. Show up, huh? Yes, ma'am. We'll do up and down. <laughs> well, it depends on how you drop. All right, Kyle, just for you, I'll turn this on its side. Just, keep you, just to keep Kyle happy. See, look how much room you see. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> I thought Republicans and Democrats had problems. Okay. Now, so now, what's the formula for period? T equals two pi square root of what? M over k. Do I memorize that? No, it's on the formula. Good woman. Do we know mass? Yes. Do we know k, the spring constant k? So JJ, grab your calculator and help me here. T equals <laughs> 
So, JJ, what's my spring, what's my period here? 1.21 seconds. Thank you. And note here, nowhere do we need the 16 centimeters. That's just extra information to confuse you. Yes. Yes, you may. All right. So far, so good? Yes. All right. Now, my last question, what's the frequency of this? Because, of course, I can talk about period, I can talk about frequency. But frequency doesn't show up in our calculations. What's frequency? frequency. Is? One over T. Yes, the inverse of the period, 1 over T. So the frequency for this is what? 1 over 1 1.21 seconds. Sabrina Lambert, teacher to the other week. Sabrina. Sorry? Yes, or point eight, or about 82% of this happens in a second. 82 what? Well, okay, I didn't round it. All right, maybe 821, 822. Argue with me. Remember, go back to this number. Don't round it off and flip it. What do you get? It's still like that number, but it's actually 0.821, 8725. That's 822. It's good enough for me. So, once again, the frequency doesn't depend on the displacement. And notice there's nothing about force in here. So it doesn't matter how, how hard you pull on it or how far you pull it. The period depends on the mass and the spring constant. And of course, the video can't see the mass moving up and down. All right. Anyway, just use your imagination. Up and down and up and down. Yes? I did write 0.16 instead of 2 pi, and that is this, and I get to the frequency. Okay. Uh, I, I can't follow what you're saying. The, the 0.16. Mm -hmm. And then square root of like the fraction that you put the other way, like the other equation. Okay. And now remember, hang on. K, uh, the force is K x. So if you've got x in there and it cancels out, and you so you put in x and the force, you can get the that to cancel out to reduce to k. I'm not going to play with that now. I'll try it later because I want you guys to work on the lab. Now, we're going to do a lab where you're going to measure the period and compare it to the calculated period. But that's kind of boring, so I'm going to turn off the...